the widely loved One Chicago shows are closer than ever to their new season premieres, and that includes Chicago Fire. After that cliffhanger ending from last season, fans are dying to get back to it, and with the September 21st premiere date, there's not much more waiting left. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the latest on season 11 and everything that's been revealed so far. First off, here's what the boss had to say. Chicago Fire showrunner Derek Haas just gave us the first official info on the new season, and it's gotten fans even more hyped than before. We've already been seeing behind-the-scenes pictures, hints about the plot, promo pictures and trailers, and with the latest update, we've got a much better idea of where the show is going. Haas was as excited as all the fans about the new season, calling it relentless, and that it has a lot of heat. Heat is definitely something you'd expect from a show about firefighters, but clearly he's trying to say that the premiere is going to be a shocker. But we didn't need Derek to tell us that. From the One Chicago teaser, we can already see that Kid and Severide aren't about to get much time to actually deal with the situation on their wedding night. Instead, they'll be thrown into one of the unexpected disasters the show is famous for, which the first episode will center around. The episode is titled Hold Me Tight, and the promo photos released show both Kid and Severide with their 51 teams trying to deal with the events of the season 10 finale. We also saw an extra intense photo with Kid, Violet, and Brett helping someone who was a victim in the accident. While Haas didn't reveal any more details, we know it'll be one of the most fast-paced, exciting, and intense episodes of the show so far, and if you're anything like us, you'll be counting down the days until it drops. Next, what's in store for this character? Eamon Walker's character is as iconic as the show itself, and nobody could imagine the gang without him. Now that we've seen the promo pictures, we know that Wallace Bowden is definitely coming back, and we're all happy to see him return. But where does he go from here? Things have been a little messy for the man in the last few seasons. Remember when he got promoted to deputy chief, and we almost had to say goodbye to him? Thankfully, Kylie stepped in, and we don't have to see him leave anytime soon. There's not too much to be worried about, though. Bowden's job seems stable, and in one of the most heartfelt moments of the last season, he walked Kid down the aisle too. But it wouldn't be Chicago Fire if they didn't mess with the man at least once every season. Last season, it was him almost giving up his job for Lieutenant Jason Pelham, helping Stella keep him at Firehouse 51. This time, something else might come up that'll give Bowden a hard time again. The most likely option is issues with truck, engine, and squad, but we might see something linked to the paramedic storyline as well. Moving on, who's got it in for Stella Ride? Most of the cliffhanger energy from Season 10 came from Kelly Severide and Stella Kidd's wedding, but the real issue came during their honeymoon, with the mystery intruders showing up to ruin things. We already know that both characters are safe and will be returning in Season 11, and we won't have any unexpected goodbyes. Both got their jobs at the firehouse, but who was in that SUV that showed up outside their cabin? Apart from wrecking a perfectly good romantic moment, that might actually spell disaster for the couple too. The One Chicago trailer showed what actually happened and mostly focused on the couple's honeymoon and where things went from there. Severide spotted the intruders from the window, and according to the episode synopsis, the mystery men are sent by someone from the couple's past. At this point, there's no way of knowing who it might be, or even if it's the person themselves. We'll eventually see what happens, but it's not really the best way to start off your life as a married couple. There's already been enough drama, but then again, the show hasn't ever been peaceful for anyone, especially not the fans. What's more, they're not the only couple getting all the attention this season. With the latest content from the set of the show, we know that Stella Ride isn't the only couple having a moment this season. The promos also promise some romantic moments between Violet and Chief Hawkins, and we're sure every fan is excited to see them return. Even though all 51 had a pretty tough year before the wedding last season, Violet definitely got the shorter end of the stick a bunch of times. As soon as Emma Jacobs, one of the season's biggest and most manipulative villains arrived, Violet's job was already at risk. Workplace relationships are never easy either, and her job was only threatened even more by the fact that she was dating Chief Hawkins. With the end of the last season, we thought we'd seen the end of that too, but the new photos prove that their relationship is safe and very happy. Kara Kilmer, who plays Brett, even shared a few photos of Hanako Greensmith and Jimmy Nicholas to her Instagram, showing them messing around behind set and filming scenes together. The last season might have seen them going through a rough patch, but they're probably going to make it through. On Hawkins' side, we were almost ready to see him go after season 10. Violet had already started drifting away from him, and the finale made it even more doubtful that he'd be coming back. But now we definitely know he's back, and the new content even shows that he'll be shadowing Ambo 65 more. The only issue here is that Gallo is still definitely into Violet, and she's dating her boss. But then again, who doesn't love a good love triangle? Now, say hello to the newest member of Firehouse 51. There's plenty of unfinished business left over from the last season to deal with, including Kid and Severide and the situation at their wedding and honeymoon. We also need answers to other storylines, like Brett and Casey, though we know Jesse Spencer isn't coming back after episode 200. The details are still blurry, but we might see them stay in a long-distance relationship. 
relationship. Alternatively, they might just break up, and we'll see Brett focusing more on her career and less on romance. With all of these storylines to tie up, it's surprising that they're starting a new one along with it. News came when a Chicago Fire fan posted a picture with Miranda Ray Mayo and Jake Lockett. Jake was seen wearing the typical gray Firehouse 51 shirt, which means he's entering the gang as another firefighter. We don't know if he's going to be a permanent character or if he's just going to be a floater like Emma, but it's always exciting to see a new face show up. The actor has had roles in other popular TV shows, including fan-favorite sitcoms like Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Community, but his role in the show hasn't been officially announced, which means it might just be a very small one. Lastly, is season 11 the last we're going to see? While fans are definitely super excited to see the show return, there's also plenty of concern that we might not see it come back. The show has been running for over a decade at this point, and has gained a huge fan following in that time. Season 11 is already expected to be one of the most exciting and tense ones yet, with more drama, loss, heartbreak, suspense, and action than ever before. It's almost to our screens, but the issue remains that it hasn't actually been renewed for further seasons. So is it really possible that we're going to see the end of it? Back in 2020, NBC renewed the show with a multi-year contract while it was still airing its ninth season. Season 11 is the last one that the extension covered, even though Paul Telegdi, the chairman of NBC, was confident that Dick Wolf would continue to make shows that audiences loved. The other one Chicago shows, including PD and Med, were both given the same kind of deal, but Fire still had the highest ratings out of all of them, being the inaugural show of the bunch. The season 10 finale was also the most watched and highest rated episode of all Wednesday programming, beating out shows like Survivor and The Flash. It's no secret that the show is still bringing in plenty of viewers and will continue to do so, so it's hard to believe that it'll get cancelled. Wolf Productions also has one of the most solid histories in all of television, including shows like Law & Order, which ran for over two decades before getting a revival, while SVU holds the record for the longest-running TV show of all time. There's definitely nothing to worry about with Chicago Fire. It's definitely going to stick around for a while. That's a wrap for this video. Which of the one Chicago shows are you the most excited for? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.